Hey, it's Matt here. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a patient profile. Let's get started. Step 1. As you know, every single patient that comes into your clinic will receive their very own profile. Your list of patients, or clients as they're called in Practice Perfect, can be accessed at any time by clicking Clients on the Operations menu. Take note of the several pieces of information available from this view. Name, birth date, sex, age, file number, primary provider, home phone, division, and incident. Click that tiny white arrow next to all clients if you wish to change the patients who appear on this list. You can see either active patients, discharged patients, or all patients at any given time. And if you're looking for a specific client, you can use a search bar at the top of the list to quickly find them. Note that you don't necessarily need to type out the patient's entire name. There are actually several ways that you can type out a patient's name and search the list. For example, if I want to search for a patient by their first name, I'll enter a comma followed by their first name. Or I can type out the patient's last name, or even just part of it. I can also do the traditional last name, first name format, and conversely I can type out their last name and first initial, or the initial of their last name followed by their first name. I can even search by using their initials alone. I'm also capable of searching for a client by birth date, file number, or phone number. But the point I'm trying to make here is that there are a ton of ways that you can use the search function. To quickly sift through the results of the search, press Ctrl and then the down arrow on your keyboard. Step 2. To add a new patient, press the green plus sign. This will reveal the following screen, known as the Client Detail View. It is comprised of several tabs, Client, Demographics, Payment Info, Guardian, Contacts, and Incidents. We're going to be covering all of them except for the incidents in part one of this tutorial. Now this tab is geared towards the patient's contact information. The very first thing to do when setting up a new client is enter the patient's name in the name section. Enter the patient's home address in the address section. Enter their phone numbers in the phone number section. The auto call field has to deal with an automated appointment reminder function. Please contact our support department for more information about this optional add-on. Select their family doctor from the drop-down list. If you haven't added the doctor to your list of physicians, you can press New Family Doctor to add them to your system on the spot. Enter the patient's email in the email section. You're free to add any additional information in the contact comment section. And lastly, use emergency contact to record the basic contact information of the person to call in case of emergency. You can use this little checkbox here to indicate if said contact is their spouse. Step 3. Once you're done filling out all of your patient's basic contact information, click on the demographics tab and we like to remind you that the information you've entered has already been saved as it was entered, and it will remain saved even if you leave one of these fields blank. You're free to return to the client detail view to complete the profile at any time. Now, this tab is used to record some more specific information about who the patient is. Begin filling out the basic information section by choosing a file number. This is for internal use only. If your clinic isn't already using a numbering system, you can click Auto-Generate to start. Please note that file numbers are not required by Practice Perfect. They are purely for your reference. Additionally, you can set up Practice Perfect so that it will automatically generate a file number when you enter a new client. This is set up by going to Settings 
and then other settings from the menu bar at the top of your screen. Only gender, birth date, health number, and allergies are key fields here. The rest are completely up to you. Note that adding information to the allergies field will add the information to the blue patient details section at the top of your screen. This is particularly helpful as the patient's allergies will appear in bright red text so that they're really hard to miss. Following basic information, enter in your patient's employment slash school information in said section. Begin by choosing their employment status. You can then add their employer or school. Note that the options in the employer school list are lifted directly from the other contact section. If you'd like to create a completely new contact, one that hasn't already been added to the other contacts or physicians list, press the new contact button. Despite this field being listed here, employment information only tends to be relevant in the case of workers' compensation claims, but there is no harm in recording it for any type of client. You can also include their job title, occupation, supervisor, driver's license number, and license status if relevant. And finally, the last thing that you can add to a patient's profile in the Demographics tab is their photo. To add their photo, simply press the green plus sign to open up your file explorer, then locate the image file and click open to add the patient's picture to their profile. The picture will be visible in the key patient information section of the left hand sidebar anytime you have that patient selected. Step 4. The payment tab is where information is stored by our credit card processing partner OpenEdge. We do not recommend that you use this tab unless you are actually using the integrated credit card solution or your credit card information will not be stored in a PCI compliant manner. Please contact our support department for more information about this optional add-on. Step 5. Afterwards, click on the Guardian tab if it is relevant to this particular patient. You'll most likely find yourself filling out this tab for minors, the elderly, or disabled persons. You may have noticed that the Guardian tab is almost identical to the Client tab except for a couple small items, chiefly the Guardian address slash phone, same as Client button, and the additional Guardian information field. As a shortcut, you can click on the Guardian address slash phone, same as Client button, and everything but the name will be copied over from the Client tab. And if at some point the guardian is no longer responsible for the patient in question, simply click the clear guardian button. Step 6. The last tab that we'll be covering in this tutorial is contacts. This is where you can add any external contacts that are relevant to this patient, not including their family or referring physician, referral source, or adjuster. They are all entered elsewhere on the client profile. However, this is where you might want to enter their attorney or any other specialist that you may want to keep on file. To add a contact to the list, press the green plus sign. Doing so will reveal a blank field where you can select the individual or the organization that they represent from the drop down list. Note that the items on this list are taken directly from your list of other contacts and physician section. If you'd like to create a completely new contact, one that hasn't already been added to the other contacts or physicians list, press the new contact button. Doing so will cause this window to appear. Note that adding a new contact from your patient's client profile will simultaneously add the contacts to your list of other contacts. And that just about wraps it up for part one of how to set up a patient profile. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. See you soon.